what is going on it's Hamish and I wanted to show you something that I discovered a long time ago but I haven't really made a video on it in a long time I actually forgot where Redbubble's sitemap was uh, located so I just did siteredbubble.com in URL sitemap and for some reason they have not listed their uh, sitemap as uh, no index so we can actually see it on Google and this is really really interesting because if you look at the URLs here for example um, redbubble.com uh, slash sitemap slash popular searches ENXML so that basically means that this is going to be all of the popular searches from Redbubble and it looks like it's split into another so just keep opening the URLs and then eventually you'll get to this page here and if you just wait a moment for it to load you can see that these are the popular searches on Redbubble and there seem to be quite a lot there are loads and loads of them as you can see uh, a lot of these will be copyright a lot of these will be uh, very very competitive but I think if you look hard enough into this you can definitely find some gold like that for example that's definitely gold. <laughs> that's a really good keyword that's a really really good keyword hang on Let's see where Redbubble number one Okay, get on it, guys. That's a really, really good one. I would definitely take a look through this. Tragically hip. That's probably a good one. So when I first discovered this, like 10 or 11 months ago, that's really, really good. Uh, I discovered this 10 or 11 months ago, and what I was trying to work on was um, getting like a Python script made personally to extract these URLs and just extract... Um, this information only from each URL. If anyone knows how to do that and they want to work with me on that, please let me know because I think that'll be really, really cool. Um, so yeah, you would basically you'd delete everything and it would just leave the URLs left and then you could just search them uh, instantly and get all of the results you want. So the cool thing is this isn't the only thing on the Redbubble sitemap. This is only the first one. There is also popular French searches, which is really, really interesting because it could potentially be less competitive. We don't know, but if you're French and yeah, you want to look for something that's maybe less competitive, then I would, my favorite color is pizza. Oh my God, did I just see that? My favorite. Oh my God, that's an incredible. How many results do you have? Please don't have 5,000. Come on, have like a, only a few. Eh. Okay, but that design's terrible. Let's go best selling. I think that's still a pretty good keyword, honestly. Let's see where Redbubble appears. Probably number one. Amazon is number one. This person here is absolutely killing it. So let's all just uh, clap for this person real quick. You've probably made thousands of dollars for this one design. <laughs> so good job. This is really, really encouraging, though. Um, and it definitely... Um, it's really interesting how we can try and get lucky, basically, with our own SEO um, by using these keyword methods that I keep showing you in all of my videos. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit just uh, to make sure you can see. Cool helmet stickers. No, no. Yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty cool. Let's see what else there is. So category landing pages. I can't believe they have... I can't believe they have that live. No way. Really? I missed the L off. Do they really? Can I really just see their top landing page? Are you serious? Wait, I did not know this. There might be something here that's just really unexpectedly good. Okay. We'll leave that loading. It needs to change its format. Let's see what else there is. Filtered landing pages. Oh, it doesn't say top landing pages. It just oh, it's just the categories. I think. Yeah, it is. It's just the categories. That's still interesting, though, because we can see all of the different products, um, and we can think about the SEO in terms of that. Like, this is a good place to get all of the different products. If you want to, let's go on. Let me show you what I mean real quick. So I can go on Google. I can type in Ahrefs keyword generator, or I can use uh, keywordtool.io. So I'll open them both just to show you guys. These are both free keyword tools that we can search each individual product one by one into like this. I'm not a robot. And we'll go here as well and search here. Let's see what comes up. So this would be a good place to find keywords as well. Um, these are all going to be... Um, 
these are all going to be what's the word uh, buyer keywords this is people looking to buy a product okay so that's really really interesting as well new works we can see what's uh, what designs people are just coming out with although I don't really know about that honestly new products popular masks oh this is interesting if these are specific designs popular mask XML if you're not following how to do this guys just go on redbubble uh, what's the base redbubble.com slash sitemap slash index sitemap dot XML I'll leave this in the description for you so these are all buyer keywords as well this should reformat uh, although it doesn't look like it wants to eat pizza quote by ML mind hmm. it's kind of annoying that this isn't gonna I really need to learn some way to just uh, remove everything except the URLs if anyone is decent with Python and wants to help me uh, with the project I asked this before and no one because I was a tiny youtuber then if anyone's good with Python out there just contact me uh, you can find my email on my YouTube channel just go on the, the contact page um, and if you're good with Python please get in touch with me because we can make a tool which I'll release for free obviously I'll just put, ad put advertising on it to, to monetize it and yeah, we'll uh, we'll make a tool together, and that'll be really really cool. This looks like it's gonna reformat. Okay, so it doesn't seem to want to reformat, but I've just thought of a decent way to uh, to do this. You can search for keywords here, like vegan. I just saw the word vegan, and let's get rid of that, 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 and that. I'm expecting, yeah, exactly, okay, this is really, really interesting to me, because this is popular apron, okay, and this is a bestseller, and the reason is because it's ranking on Google, okay, a lot, if you make a lot of sales, uh, suddenly it'll be because you just started ranking as a product on Google, there's no reason why this product has to rank above your product, this is a really good keyword, guys, this is a really, really good keyword, uh, I think I might have just discovered something amazing again, so yeah, um, <laughs> I don't really know what to say, this is honestly, the, look how much data there is here that you can just search through, especially if you're decent with Python, and the good thing about these bottom ones here, all of these are, they, they've called them popular, Redbubble has called them popular. And what that means for us is we know already that all of these products are selling, I'm getting excited. This is really, really strong. I've been obsessed with uh, product-specific SEO recently for Redbubble. This might honestly be... <laughs> this might be better than search operators, guys, honestly. This might be better than Ahrefs as well. Um, if anyone wants to show me a way to extract this, can I not just format it? Wait. Oh, okay. If you go to 125 zoom, it works a lot better. You can see a lot more. Oh, that's really, really useful, actually. Coffee Cat, Yeehaw. So the, another really, really interesting thing is that these are probably all popular because they're selling on Google. So if I search any of these, I, I guarantee, um, like if I if I search for Frank Sinatra mug shop, I'm gonna like I'm gonna put like an 80% chance that this product is is number one or up to number five on Google. It's not. Amazon is here. Oh yeah, look, is this that product? No. How many key how many results does this have? So this might be selling through Redbubble, so that's really interesting as well. Cool. I like it, I like it. I don't know about copyright, you'd have to check that for yourselves, but definitely an interesting one there. I'm trying to work it out. Okay. I wanted to put it all in one cell. Yeah, it works fine if you put it on one two five as uh, percent zoom. So you just want to be looking for things that aren't copyright, obviously. Powder to the people distressed retro to ski poster. Powder to the okay, so powder powder to the people. Oh, it's a song. Skiing. Ah, okay, it's a YouTube video or something, never mind. So yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it there guys, but Oh wait, hundred dollar bill a go go. A hundred dollar bill a go go. A hundred dollar bill a go go. Oh, it's it's always a song. It's always a song. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it there, guys. Uh, really, really interesting and definitely 
worth uh, looking at more. If you're a Python e Pythoner, I don't know what the, <laughs> don't know what the noun is or adjective the noun. Uh, yeah, either get in touch with me or just do it yourself and let me know how it goes. And I'll see you really, really soon with some more content. Peace out.